Hey guys, I just want to say that, uh, unless we see how, uh, finished it is, unless we see how happy our God is, unless we see who we truly are made in our happy Abba Jesus Holy Spirit's image, and unless we see it, that, you know, it's going to be good in the end. We can't really truly rest. We can't really truly have the peace that we're designed to have. And we have that peace, but we're supposed to resonate with that by seeing that, by beholding that holding of Abba Jesus Holy Spirit holding us perfectly. They're holding us in, in their perfect love embrace forever. The work is finished. They completed us. They know who we truly are in their image. And they hold us in that image forever. And they know that they're going to wake us up. They're, they're, they're unconditionally committed to unconditionally wake us up to that. At any given moment that we hear this good news. Or any given moment that they just want to randomly wake us up. Or randomly. It's not really ran according to their plan wake us up. We come to rest, we come to see how happy they are, how they're nothing but light and love and happiness and bliss and peace and joy and freedom. They're just so amazing. And we're created to enjoy their embrace of us. We're created to enjoy them enjoying us and who they truly know us to be made in their happy image. And the work is all finished. We're fully in union with the happy God. They've lifted us up into their very swirl, into their very divine nature. So we can know what they've always been knowing about themselves, which is the best thing ever. So we can truly enjoy what they've always been enjoying and rest. It's so good. But the re religion in, in the world, their mindset, you know, it's the fallen mind of Adam. They think that God is distant from them, that God's holding back some blessings from them that they need to work for, that they need to believe for, that they, they need to strive for. But no, we're not created to be striving and working and trying to, you know, muster up faith. No, the Bible says faith comes through love. As we behold Jesus, as we see him, as he reveals himself to us, it says he'll, he's the author of your faith. That faith works through love. When you know how loved you are, you have faith. Love believes all things. Love knows all things. You just know everything. You just believe. You, can, you, you know that your Abba, Jesus and Holy Spirit, this God of, this triune God of love wants to give you everything and has given you everything. They, they show you this glorious finished work reality that they have given you all blessings, that all the spiritual blessings, that you have every good thing that's in Christ, that you're complete, that everything is new, everything is reconciled. That you're whole, that you're healthy, that you're in heaven, on earth, seated in a posture of rest, in Jesus' posture of rest, because he knows it's finished and he's satisfied. Abba knows this too, and he's satisfied. Holy Spirit knows this too, and he's satisfied. All humanity mystically know this too, and Jesus is humanity, and they're satisfied. And so there's nothing to be done. There's nothing that can be added to this. We don't need to strive and strain and stress about making this happen in any area of our life. We don't need to worry. It's not a task that we need to perform in order to like always be aware of God, but it's just the true mode of our being, living loved, always knowing their presence, always showing us what they believe to be true, this tangible reality of their glory, their happy nature going through everything and making everything just to be like their happy nature. Where everything in creation is, is existing in their happy selves, their happy nature, their happy being. Unconditional love. It's unconditional. Our belief doesn't condition them to love us. And when we know this 
perfect unconditional love. It casts out all fear, casts out all striving, casts out all performance mechanisms. We're seeing that we don't need to perform to be loved. We don't need to do anything to be loved. We just are loved forever. And so we can really, so we just wake and they show us that we're loving just like them, that, that we're meant to, to, to live knowing that we're loved and love other people as we know how loved we are. We just love other people. We see that that's our true nature too, living through their true nature. And everyone wakes up together as one big family party of happy love. <laughs> Hallelujah. So yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that we can rest in your love. I thank you for showing us how amazing you are. Jesus through Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing us how amazing you are through Jesus and you, Jesus, showing us how amazing Abba is. Thank you, Abba, for showing all of you showing us one another and showing us yourselves and how amazing you are and how amazing we are. Face to face, face inside of our faces, your hearts inside of our hearts. We're all one being of love with many persons all partaking of the same nature of this yummy, delicious love. And we can actually truly rest in this life and enjoy you like we're made to enjoy and not stress about what we're doing or trying to perform for your love. I thank you for that, for casting out all of our worry and anxiety today as we behold this effortless union that we are plugged into forever, this gospel reality. And we don't need to see life through religion and in the fall of Adam and in the world seeing how the world and religion sees that, oh my gosh, we're, dist we're we're separated from God. No, that's just an illusion. God, you're very happy. You're not what Adam and the world and religion thinks, but you're what the gospel reveals to us. You're what, what you reveal to us. And I thank you for revealing that to us today and every day, this eternal Sabbath day of rest, this eternal acceptable day. This day of salvation that is now here in, in us fully. And we're in him. We're in you, Abba Jesus, Holy Spirit. We love you. Hallelujah. Amen. I love you guys. <laughs> be at ease. Be at peace. Be at rest. Forever. Amen. You're satisfied. They're satisfied. <laughs>